Hi everyone, this is Nikki Jameson. So today I'm just going to attempt to do a painting or just show you one of the ways you can use Corel Painter to start your paintings and that is by sketching. So people have asked, oh, how do you do uh, a sketch uh, in Corel Painter? People, it, it really depends on you as the, as the artist. Um, some people can sketch really well and draw it really well and can start from a from a sketch and just uh, they're, they're off to the races. Others, and I fall into uh, the latter category, I need some kind of a guide to, um, to, to help me. But at the same time, as I uh, start a sketch, I don't really want my paintings to be replicas of, of the photo. Okay, you need to, I feel that it's very important to add um, some creativity rather than just doing what the photo, what, what the photograph says. So you have to be careful if you're um, using a photograph uh, as, your, as your starting point and bear in mind that you want to kind of just use it as a guide and then go off in your own direction. So this is a sketch I started um, some time ago. Uh, I actually have gone much further and actually um, almost finished the painting from it, but I thought it might be a good idea just to just to show you what you what you can do because there are many ways to sketch it using Corel Corel Painter. You can also clone images, which I am not going to show you today. I can show you in another video, but for this one, what I did is I um, imported the uh, picture or the photo rather as a as 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 is and then i added a layer which is going to be my tracing layer now for this layer i could um i've lowered the opacity um i've lowered the opacity so that i don't get too distracted with the lines because what can happen is that you start reproducing the photo as you, as the photo which you really don't want to you want to try and avoid doing Typically, I kind of start off not really with a with a very um, strong sketch, but I have to say that uh, drawing or sketching is really, really a good uh, discipline to have because if you have a sketch that um, I'm going to press shift here so I can get my line straight here, if your sketch is um, not very good, and this is rather this is not really the best. Um, picture to show you because it's a little bit complicated it has lots of lines lots of rooftops and it's a very strange angle uh, or perspective because not many people will be up on a ridge um, painting from this perspective but you might actually be photographing it but never mind we can just see what we can do uh, with with this so you'll see where I've made some lines before and what I'm doing now is sketching the, the roofs and trying to get the perspective of these um, chimneys, which are, you know, very British traditional chimneys. So you can see that I'm using the photo to kind of guide me here, just just to put in some some lines. And if you're doing a, a photo with or you're doing a, a, a drawing with this amount of uh, complexity, you want to you just want to be aware that it can throw you off so as soon as you can you want to you want to move away from what you're doing here and then just use it as a guide so one of the way, good ways to do it is to make the um you can see that th these are lines i'm making now because i've closed it i've locked this layer i've added this uh, another layer which is this, which is my sketch layer on top and then I'm just going to use that as my guide. And if I need a little bit more guidance, I can click on this layer and I can make it, I can increase or decrease the, the opacity. Okay. Um, so I'm going to keep the opacity like that. Actually, let's move it a little bit this way, just so I can see the lines because and make sure I'm on the sketching level uh, because then that will kind of guide me. And I'm using this brush called... Uh, nice little sketcher which i'm going to reset and i'm using it fairly small um size am i on the right layer here yes i am so 
than what's happened. Oh, I reset it. See, this is what I always, uh, I reset it and it's, it, this branch for some reason has a, re it, it, um, it has a reset value, which means that at the reset value, it will blend. So what I had done is I'd inadvertently reset it. So of course it set it back to its uh, default, which is to, to blend. And I don't really want it to blend. Um, I will do that in a minute. But all I want to do is just put some some marks, really, not really lines, marks, to, to put where I will put my paint marks. So there are some trees down here I can see. There's some trees there. And what is um, also good, there's some windows here. What is also um, good that you can do is that you can use, um, if you're sketching, you can use... Uh, a pencil or a a brush with the color of what it is that you want to to sketch and once you've done the once you've done the sketching so you can see I kind of started that here these are going to be trees and in actual fact what I will probably do is that when I'm painting these these layers or when I'm when I'm actually doing the painting let's make this a bit smaller I will paint them on different layers uh, that's the flexibility you can have in digital painting. Um, let's move this. Let's move this a bit. And I will typically have a reference uh, photo. I'm not using the reference at the moment, but there's some trees here that will give me. Um, and it, the trees are in full leaf, uh, full foliage here, so I can take advantage of it being a uh, foliage, and I can be a little bit more abstract around this area. I'm going to go back to my uh, dark brown here and I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to sort of sketch in, oops, try and do control Z there, uh, sketch in some lines here. So you can see how it's helpful for sketching in these lines. So we've got some some brickwork here but already I if I hadn't already started painting this, I would have asked myself why on earth I am doing such a complicated photo, uh, photo to, to start my painting. However, I have really been wanting to do a painting of these for a while. And this is probably a, a nice sort of start for me because I want to get these rooftops. And I, I probably will end up, you can see I, I'm not that great a sketcher but it's it's re I find it's really good to practice this way and typically you know when you're sketching when you're drawing as an artist you don't show off all your your basic stuff and the, the things that you you practice with because you make a lot of mistakes as you're going ahead there is no I haven't done a painting yet that's been perfect the first time round. it might look that way on a video but uh there's usually a lot of back and forth and um, paintings can take a while to do. Sketching in Coral Painter, basically following the lines as I see them, just putting in some marks. Uh, this will be a roof here and uh, this will be a rooftop here. So I, will, I could use some hatching, for example, just to, in fact, let me just show you here put this in so I can already see where I'm going to have some rooftops and I'll probably make that a little bit larger but if I put in some marks down here and in fact even if I made this as I as I go along I I realize things that uh you know as I as I go along and I think you know what I could make this make this a little bit bigger to to help me along and to show me where some of the key key points are and uh, I can because I can see the color a little bit through here I can start putting some of those those marks in and then what I will do is reduce it because it'd be a bit bit too big to um, to paint or well, to sketch with and then just put these let's go back here and then just put these marks in so this will be the edge of this rooftop here. It's pretty main. And I haven't decided whether I want to keep this this uh, lamp, street lamp, in yet. Um, and 
it's quite likely that as I start painting, a lot of this will be um, eliminated. But for now, just to show you, because um, I was asked the question about sketching, um, this is one way you could do it in, in Coral Painter. And I will show you um, another one that I've, I've done maybe in another video. Okay, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found something useful for it. Thanks for watching. See you in another video. Take care.